Okay, we are working on the Ford 1710, and that is the fuel filter housing here. Like this, I've already cleaned the housing out pretty good. I could use a little bit more down in there, but I think it'd be okay because I'm going to put the filter on correctly. We have a new O-ring here. Right here. How much exactly are those rims going to cost? How much what? Exactly is those rims going to cost? I'll check in a little bit. I don't know. And here's our new uh, fuel filter. Our old O-ring. And the old O-ring that went right around this right here. Let's see if you can see it. See, right there. I might have to do something right there. I think it'd be okay, though. And what they had was, <clears throat> this is the old one, and he took it off, cleaned it out, and he said, oh, there's all kind of sludge and shit in there. That's the bottom of it. It goes down to the bottom of the house, and it should sit like that. This is the top of it, which goes on here like that. But it was stuck and froze on there. And when they, see how that is? That's so tight. <clears throat> when they took this off, it stayed on there. So when they tried to put it all back together, it crushed it. And if you look, now we got that. We have the new filter. It just fits right on there, okay? And then we take the new O-ring down there and we put it around that and then we slip it up and it should seat right there okay and then we put this all back together and we put it back on the tractor voila no issues hopefully and I got a couple of new uh, uh, fuel line clamps I'm gonna put these on and get rid of those right there because that one leaks it doesn't work really well it's actually too small for it so uh, that's because I am still waiting and I've already you know just slipped this back up on here <clears throat> I'm still waiting on that uh, freeze plug expansion plug whatever you want to call it I'm pissed off I got one that I picked up uh, apparently what he did is he lost the damn thing and didn't know what to do so he put some in it put steel in there uh, he told me they kept bending well I didn't have no problem when I put them on the uh, Kubota I mean they went right in there no issues so I got a whole new set of those coming but somewhere around here I have that one the 14 millimeter that I picked up off the shop floor when I it says I was walking into it I seen it on the ground <clears throat> and I picked it up and put it in my pocket and I went and talked to him then he tells me the story about they were folding and bending up real bad which hell all you gotta do is get a socket that fits that and you, you tap them right in and if you look at this one where the hell I put it <clears throat> you can tell he didn't get that in there far enough because it was mushrooming on the out right there see and then he started hitting it on the outside with something to try and drive it on in the hole which get a socket that just does fit the inside of that just a little bit less and drive it up in there because they're not made to mushroom out like that around each one of them has a a degree some sort of degree that goes like that you know sort of like your valves uh, when your valve seat and it's a seat is what it is really and truly so when you tap these things in the inside will go slap through until they start grabbing right here and then when they grab right here you're good because they'll take and uh, mushroom down but I got brass ones here and then he put lost it and I picked it up and I just don't know where I put it <laughs> I wish I had it <laughs> I do because I'd fix that and I'd be done and I'd put it all back together and just wait on the gaskets Alright y'all, peace. Stan Danny who shot bought and all that other good shit. I'm staying busy. I'm working on my tractor. I'm gonna have a new filter fuel filter for it. And then uh well we're gonna check the price on the rims. The rims are $280 and that's without shipping. So when you add shipping to it, it's gonna be three hundred and something. 
uh, and I need a water pump. And I need that tachometer cable. Tachometer cable, forty bucks. So we'll see. Peace. I gotta check finances on all that shit. Enjoy, nanny nanny, shot bot, and all that other good shit. Bye.